Gonna jump in, look at that. Picking up Moscow insanely fast. And I'm just waiting for Perth to have the because it's Tiger going in. I'm just gonna go and jump in on Freya. Well, picking up Tiger there, picking up Freya as well. Okay, sorry for interrupting this video. I just thought that maybe you wanna gonna know that you can gonna get a skin for free. Yes, absolutely for free, okay? So all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below your ID, your in-game name, and the skin that you want, which is under 300 diamonds, okay? And you'll have a chance of winning that for free, okay? You'll find more information down in the description, okay? But sorry, let's gonna jump back into this amazing video. What's up people and welcome to this video. So in this video guys we're taking a look at some Karina gameplay, okay? So in some videos which I've done recently, I've been telling you guys that I've been playing a lot of Karina, especially in the video which I told, which I did yesterday about like, yeah, the new Karina skins which is coming up. Link to that video will be down in the description. Anyway, in that video I said I've been playing a lot of Karina. I even showed you a pentakill in that video and you guys have been asking me, but Go ahead and show us some gameplay. So, well, I might as well gonna do that. So, in this video, I am playing Karina. I will be telling you in this video, like, what I am building, how I am playing her, and like, how I think when I am playing her, okay? So, yeah, okay, first of all, as you can see, the setup is really weird. I'm going 1 versus 1, top lane versus Moscow. This is a really amazing beginning, by the way. 1 versus 1 with Moscow, like, look at that. You don't stand a chance, okay? You don't stand a chance against Karina. You don't look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> this is amazing. Goddamn amazing. You you got wrecked, boy. The funny thing about this, I clearly really remember this. This gameplay is from yesterday, okay? He wrote, oh my god, okay? And then, like, a few seconds later, he's gonna be on, he's gonna get so pissed because he's going solo top lane, but, well, for his, him, is bot lane. But, like, because I was able to kill him this early, I don't know, it's just really funny. <laughs> and you can see, like I said, the setup is really weird. There are, like, two mid uh, in both teams, and then two bot and one top. I don't know. It's just a solo queue, so I don't really know what the crap my teammates are doing. Look at that. I stay AFK because my team is stupid. I'm solo bot. Well, bro, I am solo as well. Take it easy. Look at that. I'm trying to pick up a kill right there. We'll be able to pick up a carry right there, which is recalling in the bush. What are you What are you thinking, okay? You're going against a Karina. You don't stand a chance, okay? So as you can see, in this gameplay, I'm playing with her original skin. So you kind of get why I want to buy it, get the new skin for her, okay? The original skin is cool. But I want something special, okay? I want something goddamn amazing. Anyway, the build which I'm using this build is actually, I think it's just the, the her first standard original build with like, I switched out like one item and that's basically it because I think the first original build is actually pretty good so I'm like, sure, let's just go and roll with that. And I've been playing uh, with her, like, like I said, uh, the last two weeks and I haven't encountered any problem with this build whatsoever. Maybe I'm going to change it a bit in the future and usually when I play and depending on who's, who I'm going against in the lane or what kind of team they have, I'm not going to change out the build a bit, but usually I'm just rolling with the, the standard build right here. So as you can see, Moscow is now mid lane and I can solo top lane, okay? That is one reason why I don't want to go and get mad like that in the game. Like, are you joking with me? Because he got mad on his teammates and the teammates hasn't really done anything wrong. I mean, I'm going solo as well. He is letting me go solo top, okay? And there will actually be a really fun <laughs> incident in this game. And I will tell you exactly what is happening. Extremely fun, okay? Well, may for me, it wasn't fun. But uh, I guess for anyone else who's watching this, it will be fun. Even for the teammates and my enemy teammates. It was fun. My enemy teammates, that's really weird. I mean, my enemies. My enemies. They thought it was fun, I guess. I didn't say anything, but if, the if they're watching this video, I swear to God, they are gonna laugh their ass off, okay? So you can see Frey's coming here, I'm just backing out. You can see I'm level 7, she's only level 5. And that's just because I'm farming much, okay? So basically, a bit of strategic how I think when playing uh, Karina, okay? Is the number one thing which I wanna go and do is always, okay? I mean, oh, look at this, the door's gonna go and attack me. But I'm like, I need this crap, so I'm gonna take it and run away. <laughs> and Bridget, I will pick up another kill here on Carry, by the way. Look at that, she's running there. I'm like, okay, free kill, because my damage is so, so high. It's just insane, look at that, soloing down easy, okay? But basically how I think is like, I wanna go to farm as much as possible because I can take down creeps extremely fast, I can take down minions extremely fast, I can take down enemies extremely fast, but really what I am focusing on 
is having the blue buff constantly and farming, and okay? And if I can see a kill, which I can pick up, I will go for that kill, okay? Because if they have like half health, and they're like squishy, meaning they're like, they don't really have a lot of armor or magic and stuff like that, I'll be able to kill them real fast, I'm gonna do that, okay? Because I can, okay? That's how you wanna play Karin, okay? You wanna be able to pick up the kills because you really can do that. You have such a high damage, it's just mad, okay? And she is just so fun to play, okay? So as you can see, I don't have blue buff right now, if I know myself, I would probably gonna wait here until I've, until the, like this kind of a team fight is over, and then go ahead and run for the blue buff. Look, this I'm pretty sure I'm able to escape this, which is just insane. I should have jumped in right there, which probably was a bit stupid. But like, when I'm playing Karina, I'm getting a bit greedy because I usually end up with like 52 or something like that, like 15 kills and like two deaths or something like that, like every single game. Like no, <laughs> no joke. Okay, I can show you some proof of that. Um, at the end of this video guys, if I remember, hopefully I will, but just it's just completely insane, okay? So let's see right here. I'm going in here. Okay, this is probably stupid, but I was able to pick up two kills The reason why I wasn't able to pick up a triple kill was because Adora stunned me, okay? Because I saw all of them three had extremely low HP, okay? I was like, hmm My ultimate and all my cooldowns will just get reset when I kill someone of them. I was like, this is just perfect for me I jump in, pick up one kill, and get stunned, and then I'm able to pick up uh, a second kill right before I die. Okay, so as you can see, I have five kills, one death, and one assist right there. So, uh, as you can see, I think someone actually stole my red buff, I mean my blue buff, or did I take... I I completely lost focus there for a second, but like I said earlier, something extremely funny will happen in this video, and it's about to happen in about 10 seconds right now, okay? So I will tell you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna round up here, I saw someone with low HP, I'm like, okay, I can probably pick him up, and then look at this, I'm gonna start running into the wall. What is happening? Well, guess what's happening? My, my dad is calling me in the middle of the game, in the middle of a ranked game. I'm like, dad, what the crap are you doing? And then bam, when I'm back, I have died, I'm lying there, I'm like, are you joking me? Are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> I didn't tell him this, but like, yeah, I was like, oh, you joking me, so I died completely waste, I was like, oh, man, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> I will actually be able to pick up a savage really soon right here, so probably there, oh, look at that damage, that's just insane, I'm legit one-hitting them, it's just insane, okay, especially like the enemy carry in Moscow, it's just mad, okay, uh, so let's see right here. I can see Fresh running bot lane, but as I said earlier, I just want that blue buff, okay? Because of the blue buff, I will be able to use my first ability constantly, okay? Every, like, you're probably gonna see me using it all the time when I'm running somewhere. I'm just using it all the time. Now I'm just waiting here for someone to do something. Look at that. Bam. I'm gonna be using it very often. That's why I'm a bit sad, because they're gonna be chasing. Oh, look at that. Jumping in, dealing a ton of damage, picking up a kill, jumping on a door right there. Picking up another kill, running away from carry with no problem at all because of my movement speed and because of my, my dodge, tricky. Okay, that's just mad, okay? You gotta love Karina. So, uh, you've probably seen the videos which I've done uh, uh, talking about the new buffs which is coming to Mobile Legends. Uh, they're switching out the red buff and blue buff. That might gonna screw a bit with me because right now I can't really remember what the, the assassin buff will do. But it's definitely not as good as the blue buff is currently for everyone, okay? Uh, the mage buff will be real good and stuff like that, but yeah. So now I'm just running top lane because I still want to go and defend top lane. I don't want the minions to go and push or anything like that. So, yeah, okay. Probably what I should be focusing on is just pushing a bit more, but I'm like, I, I want to get the kills, okay? I want to get the farm, okay? And that definitely works, okay? So you can see I'm about half uh, through a blue buff, so I am guess I'm probably going to pick up this blue buff right here. Just to go ahead and have even longer time having it, okay? Because I just love blue buff on Karina, it's just... It's insane, it's mad, it's amazing, it's life, okay? And bam, we got another blue buff right there. So I wasn't able to help them with the kill in the mid lane, but it's fine, they were able to pick up the kill. You can see that my team is, isn't really playing super duper good, they have died quite a lot. I think the only one who's playing pretty good was like, was it Jan Shao or Sylog? I'm not completely sure, I didn't see the stats really. You can scroll back a second and take a look at the stats if you wanna. But we do have a pretty huge lead, I would look at this. Freya, what do you think? Why do you even go in there? Look at that. Bam. Easy kill right there. And then Moscow. Bam. <laughs> oh, that's just amazing. 9 2 2 with 10 minutes into the game. That's amazing. Just wait for it, though. Just wait for it. Everything is going to take a huge turn in a second. Well, for the better, okay? So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure Sidon was the only other player in the team which actually played fairly good. As you can see, he's actually picking up a few kills right there. So, bam. I'm, I'm picking up a lot of assists right here. I don't want the assists, I want the kill, okay? So we can see a door right there. I mean, the thing is, I can just 
kill her so easily, it's just mad, okay? But Adora is a hero which you don't really want to go ahead and just jump on with Karina, because if Adora gets in all of her builds, you might die, because you have very low HP, and Adora ha has a stun, so she might be able to, like, Put in all of our builds on you and you might gonna die. So you can see some kind of a team fight right here. I'm pretty sure I'm like, I'm gonna take this tower, then I'm gonna run there. So I picked it up. I can see Adora with very low HP, very far back. So I'm just waiting here for a perfect opportunity. Taking a look at what the enemies are doing. Let's see. Right low HP like that. Picking up a kid right there. Going for carry. Look at my damage. That's just the same. Picking up a double kill. Well, I didn't even pick up the double kill. That's just say, How did I not get the double kill right there? I don't really get it. But I did pick up a kill. Cyclops picked up the double kill. I did deal a lot of damage to an enemy though. But just, just wait for it. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. Okay. So we're 11 minutes into the game. Okay. So now I might go and should go and point out. Look at that damage. That's insane. That's against Tigrell. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not building any uh, magic resist though, because I dealt just so much damage, it's insane. Though, I'm building magic penetration, so... Yeah, look at that. Why are you going in? Okay, my damage is way too high for you. Don't, don't come close. Look at that Dora. I'm like, okay, I'm out! <laughs> Either way, uh, you read the title probably. Uh, three savages, yes. Uh, the thing is, this game, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to pick up the pentacle of the savage in a second right there. I just should gonna point out that it's two separate games. Okay, I played this game, got a pentacle, then like the game after that. I picked up almost another two savages, so I'm gonna be showing you that after this video, okay? But, let's see, we can see Lord fighting right there in a minute, uh, I'm gonna jump in, look at that. Picking up Moscow insanely fast, and I'm just waiting for first up to turn there, we can see Tiger going in, I'm just gonna go and jump in on Freya, well, picking up Tiger right there, picking up Freya as well, I'm, I'm like, triple kill, always go for a pentakill, picking up the Maniac right there, and a very easy savage right there, such an easy savage, with such a high damage, it is mad, and here we have the win. Okay, so like I said earlier, I have two other savages I'm gonna show you. Well, basically not two savages, it's one savage and one maniac. But the thing is, they're basically after each other, which I think is really fun, okay? So, let's go and jump into that, okay? So, as you can see, this is another game, and this is actually, I recorded this after uh, me playing this, okay? Because <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna upload this, I was like, oh, never mind! I got, I got a pentakill, and then it's like a, a minute later I'm picking up uh, almost another pentakill as well, okay? Which is just, a, it's, it's basically two pentakills, but uh, uh, yeah, you will see, you will see, okay? So, uh, the pentakill is gonna be happening very soon. We're 10 minutes into the game in this gameplay. I'm just waiting here for the perfect opportunity. Now you can't really see me looking around, but I'm looking at enemies waiting for the perfect opportunity right here. So you can see, uh, I was trying to go for Silent because it's real HP. I can see Gatotkach is very outside of his team. He's going in, picking up the double kill right there, waiting for a perfect opportunity again, going for Raphael, picking up the kill on Raphaela. I can see my damage is way too high right there. Picking up a maniac right there on Cyclops. The only one on the if carry. And I was like, I'm just gonna go use my ultimate to pick up the easy savage right there. Okay, look at that savage. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be showing off the stats right there. 10 kills, 2 assists, and no, I mean 2 deaths and 3 assists. There you can see the build, which I'm basically using. Uh, just a lot of damage right there. So I'm gonna be speeding up the gameplay right here. Uh, so you don't have to wait so long until the next pentacle. Well, the thing is, it isn't long until it, okay? But I'm gonna speeding it up as well, okay? As you can see, how did I survive that? That's just mad, okay? Well, you know why? Karina, okay? That's why, okay? So I'm pretty sure I will gonna die maybe once or twice actually during this speed up. Really sad, okay? Really bad things. I'm really completely sure how. Yeah, right. Why? How? When? Why did I go in there? I don't know. Sometimes when I get like a lot of kills, I'm like, okay, well, you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I don't usually do that. I usually play. I, I usually try hard quite a lot. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see where. Okay, I'm gonna jump in and I'm gonna gonna die yet again. Really sad. Really, really sad. I cried a lot. I'm like, oh no, I'm ruining my own stance. Why am I doing that? So you can see I picked up the immortality here because I'm pretty sure my teammates aren't really playing super good. Um, no, as you can see, if you take a look at the stats right there on the right corner, okay? But we're getting extremely close right there to the Pentagon. So you can see Lord is pushing up right there. I can see, look at that, so we can see uh, Carrie is pushing in the enemy team. And I'm like, hell no, man. Hell no, you ain't pushing. Look at that, picking up an easy kill right there. That's the first kill, okay? So if you take a look at the map right now, you can see four other enemies in mid lane, okay? So I didn't really think about I was gonna go and do Savage right now or anything like that. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go and help uh, Tigrell. I'm gonna go and help my mate. I'm gonna go and try to save him, okay? That was basically what I thought, okay? So we can see him right there. I'm gonna be jumping in right there, picking up a very easy kill on Raphael, picking up another kill there on Cyclops, going for Godot Gacha. I was like, I'm gonna kill you, man. I'm gonna kill you, okay? Picking up the triple kill right there, and then it's only Cylong left, and then BAM, okay? That should have been a Penta kill if I did it like 
30 seconds faster, okay? So I did get the first kill and I did get like the other kills and stuff like that, you know? So that was basically two pentagons off each other. It was according to the game, which is probably true, a savage and then a maniac. But it was basically two. Ten kills in matter of like... That's just insane. That's mad. That's power of Karina, guys. Either way, guys, it was all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I really hope I'll see you next video, guys. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Remember to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Bye. <laughs> Remember guys, if you want to go buy a mobile grip, there will be a link down in the description. And if you're doing that, you gotta remember to use the code BLUEPANDA to get 10% off, okay? And you will also be supporting the channel a bit by doing this. Thanks.